Hi there and welcome to a slightly different car cleaning guru video in which I'll be addressing the common misconception that pressure washers cause damage, drawing on over a decade's worth of experience professionally cleaning cars with them while using this well-kept 2007 Lapis Blue 911 Turbo as subject matter. Following an increasing amount of unconstructive comments concerning the safety of pressure washer usage, I decided that instead of repeatedly responding to them with the same reply, it would be far more effective to actually tackle the issue head-on in a video and put this urban detailing myth to bed once and for all. And while I won't necessarily be going into the specific science behind why pressure washers don't cause damage, as I'm not aware there even is any, I will be drawing on my years worth of experience pressure washing all manner of vehicles to hopefully show that when used correctly, they can be one of, if not the most effective tools for thoroughly and safely ridding the exterior of your car of crud. I'd also like to make it clear I have nothing against those who clean their car using just a hose pipe. If you can achieve a level of clean on your own car that you're personally satisfied with without the need for a pressure washer, that's great. Save yourself some coinage and stick with the tap. That being said, it's all well and good cleaning your own car, but if like me your job is to tackle all manner of filthy neglected vehicles that may not have been touched in months or even years, the tap just ain't going to cut it, and so I hope you can respect my choice as an experienced professional to use a pressure washer. And of course, it goes without saying that just like any other tool, a pressure washer has the potential to cause damage. However, my point here is that when used in an appropriate manner and with a little common sense, they're no more potentially dangerous than any other professional power tool. And so before addressing any concerns, it's probably worth running over what exactly that appropriate manner entails. First and foremost, a suitable machine needs to be selected. The fully adjustable Kranzel K7i and many other pros work with is capable of producing up to 120 bar or 1800 psi, and while you could safely use a machine with more than that, in my experience you shouldn't need it. Generally speaking, any machine sold over the counter for general cleaning duties around the house and garden should be perfectly safe for use on your car. Once you have your machine, the next thing to consider is the spray pattern. Some washers will come with a dirt blaster designed for heavier cleaning tasks and it's not recommended these be used on your car as the pulsing jet they create could possibly cause damage. Other washers feature different nozzle attachments including focus pencil jets which again aren't really suitable for use on a car. Instead, a standard fan spray pattern is the safest and most effective type for automotive detailing duties. When using a pressure washer, the lance should be aimed in a manner so that the jet hits the surface at roughly a 45 degree angle, which will promote optimal runoff as well as provide the quickest, most effective cleaning action. The lance also shouldn't be held too close to the car to reduce what I refer to as the hydraulic impact, which is basically the potential for the jet to cause damage in certain situations. Somewhere between 2-4 to four foot, depending on the power of your machine, should be optimal. And finally, you want to keep the jet of water moving at all times to prevent unnecessary water ingression. This also ensures you only use as much of it as you really need, reducing wastewater runoff and pooling around the car. The few instances where avoiding the use of a pressure washer would make sense for me would be when washing priceless vintage vehicles and classic cars which weren't made to the same exacting standards of modern motors today, or on neglected rusting cars with bubbling and damaged paintwork which could be worsened by a jet of pressurised water. Yet aside from these, I can't think of any other instances where the use of a pressure washer over a hose pipe should be actively discouraged. It appears people's problems with the use of pressure washers span threefold. That is, some argue a professional washer like the one I use is capable of literally stripping paint from the panels. Others assert that they force dirt particles into the paint, causing scratches and swirl marks. Then finally there's the view they can physically break off and damage exterior trim. However, I'd hope that after watching this you'll understand how, apart from in a few rare instances, these concerns are for the most part completely unwarranted. To address the first point anti-pressure washerists often make about them removing paint, put plainly you would have to be using an incredibly powerful industrial strength machine designed specifically for stripping back for this to occur, which I'd like to think no one in the right mind would. The only time a standard pressure washer may be capable of pulling off paint would be on a neglected car where the jet of water 
if held too close and kept in one particular spot, could get in underneath already compromised paintwork. However, it's unrealistic to think that a car in this condition would be subjected to such a thorough clean. Someone who lets the car get in that state isn't likely to want to have it pressure washed on a regular basis. In my mind, it goes without saying that issues like these should be dealt with prior to any detailing duties taking place. Again, it comes down to simple common sense, and if you don't have any, that's not my problem. Notice the excess polish residue underneath the Porsche badge being power washed here, which wasn't readily removed by the jet of water. Now, if 1800 psi of pressure isn't capable of removing a bit of residue sitting on the surface, isn't it therefore completely unrealistic to think that a washer like this could then go on to strip or damage the paint itself? Even the dead bugs on the front number plate remained in place after being power washed, and as stubborn as these can sometimes be, they're not tough enough to resist potential paint stripping levels of pressure, which just goes to show how gentle these machines actually are. And because I'm so devoted to the cause, I'm literally prepared to put my life on the line to prove how safe modern pressure washers, including my own, actually are. On full blast, I daringly place my bare freezing hands directly into the jet of water and miraculously somehow manage to escape needing immediate hospital attention. In all seriousness though, if a 120 bar pressure washer can't strip flesh from the bone, it's silly to think it's going to be able to pull the baked on paint off a car. The next argument to get to grips with is that pressure washers drive dirt particles into the paintwork causing scratches and swirl marks. And while I understand the thinking behind this, in all my years professionally cleaning cars I have never once come across any kind of surface scratching that could even remotely be attributed to pressure washer usage, prompting me to come to the conclusion that this theory does not hold water. Take a look around both online and off and you'll notice that the vast majority of professional detailers and valeters use pressure washers to clean and maintain their clients' cars. In addition to this, if you look at other professional outfits within the motor trade, whether it be hand car washes, body shops or dealerships, you'll again see that the vast majority of them will employ pressure washers to clean the various vehicles they deal with on a daily basis. And the reason for this is that they are the most effective tool for cleaning the exterior of a car, as well as being perfectly safe. Reputable online detailing supply stores actively promote and sell pressure washers in their hundreds if not thousands, while well-frequented detailing forums discuss them at length, whether it be recommendations, reviews or even group buys. If they were genuinely dangerous then, they simply wouldn't be promoted as a suitable cleaning tool by these credible vendors and communities. As far as I can tell, a precise and pressurised flat stream of water quickly serves to get in underneath dirt particles, lifting and safely transporting them away from the vehicle in the most efficient manner possible. Lastly, as already stated, pressure washers have the potential to cause damage on already compromised cars. A well looked after, roadworthy and relatively modern vehicle however should be robust enough to stand regular pressure washing without bits of it being blasted off. If you take a powerful pressure washer to an old or neglected car without first checking it over and knock off some loose trim you have no one else to blame but yourself. The truth is that modern cars are better built, engineered and manufactured than they ever have been and a once weekly pressure wash to remove some dirt really isn't going to phase their structural integrity or compromise their finish in any real tangible way. With the main concerns regarding pressure washer usage now hopefully addressed, I only think it fair to also run over a few of their significant benefits as those who actively avoid them may well be missing out. Firstly, owning a pressure washer obviously allows you to properly snow foam and pre-clean your car, and while there are products available that will let you foam with your hose pipe, they don't come close to producing the thick long-lasting suds that only a dedicated snow foam lance and pressure washer combination can. And because the pre-clean is one of the most important parts of the car cleaning process in terms of swirl prevention, if you're serious about avoiding actual damage being inflicted during the subsequent contact washing, you'll understand how a pressure washer applied pre-clean and rinse down really is the only way to go. Another big benefit of using a pressure washer is that they use less water, meaning the guys out there with mobile setups and a limited onboard supply of it can get more work done with less worry about running dry, not to mention of course it being more environmentally friendly. Yet despite using less water, they also allow you to clean a lot quicker, and so viewing it from this perspective, why wouldn't you want to use a pressure washer? 
Pressure washers also serve to convey a professional impression to both current and prospective customers. Rocking up to someone's house or place of business to detail their car and proceeding to clean it using a hose pipe only before asking for a substantial sum of money in return isn't acceptable in my book. Professionals need professional equipment as it covers them for all eventualities as well as serving to set them apart from the enthusiast. Lastly, and by no means least, pressure washers are damn good fun. They're therapeutic to use and bring out your inner child and really, what's the point of physically toiling away cleaning cars if at the end of the day you don't find it enjoyable? Wrapping things up then, I hope I've helped to paint a clearer picture on why the responsible use of a suitable pressure washer for cleaning a car is perfectly safe and how there's nothing to be feared from them but everything to be gained. As always, thanks for watching, let me know in the comments whether you're a pressure washer wacko or a hosepipe head, and I'll see you in another car cleaning guru video soon.